Hello, everybody. Take two. The door is like right beside this window right here that way. And the guy was out there yelling for... Oh, my God. Look at Lita. She keeps hopping in the air trying to catch a fly. Get it, baby. Get it. Oh, of course. Now you stop doing it. Dipshit. Anyway. So... <clears throat> I went to Lush today, which is a vegan bath products place, and they are against animal testing. None of their stuff is uh, animal tested, and they do packageless stuff. So everything that's sitting in their shelves has no package, and then you just put it in these biodegradable uh, paper bags. Um, and when you get their products that are in these containers, um, this container specifically, when you return them when you're done, if you return five of them, you get a free face mask. Um, I reuse these containers for like different soaps and stuff like that. And I never use this fast enough for it to get empty. So I usually have like a billion of them. So I got Dirty Spring Wash, which is one of my favorite bath gels. You can use their stuff for like shampoo or body wash. Oh god, I love them. I, everything in here smells like the same thing because they've been in the bag together, but eventually it will all air, air out. Um, which one is this? whatever I can't see because it's too close but I got my favorite shower gel this okay so my favorite scent from Lush is Lord of Misrule which is like a patchouli vanilla y kind of thing and I don't usually like patchouli but the smell of it is kind of like patchouli sweet tart if that makes any sense it's it's not straight patchouli it's like a hint of patchouli with a bunch of other things and they only sell it during Christmas and this was on the thing, and this is like for men, it's just a body wash. All you can, Everybody you can use everything, but it's fresh as shower gel. And this smells like Lord of Misrule so much to me, but it's a really pretty blue color. It's all super dark. I got that one. And I got these daffodil eye pads, and they are um, like a gelatin kind of, not gelatin, they... If they deteriorate after a while, but you keep them in the refrigerator and then you put them on your eyes. And there's like cucumber ones and <clears throat> like a bunch of different flower ones. Uh, there's a chamomile one I know for sure. But I got these ones because they looked heavy and they're supposed to look like daffodils. Um, and they smell divine. They smell slightly like daffodil. To me, everything in here smells like citrus because most of the stuff I get has a citrus mist to it. But I got some of these from the Dollar Tree, but they weren't this. They were just like a little, it looked kind of like mini ice packs, but really, really small, and they sit on your eyes. And when I'm super, super hot, I like to put cold things on my eyes. Um, and we have just hit summertime craziness. And so these are gonna work out really good. I need to get some parchment paper. I'm sure he has, my brother has some parchment paper, but, and then I can individually wrap them and keep them in the refrigerator and they won't deteriorate for very long. I need to put them in the refrigerator now because they are quilted, a bit wilted. Um, and this, oh god, I want to take it out of the package so bad to show you, but maybe I can just twist it upside down. Shower jelly. And I got the whoosh. It smells like lemon everything. Let's see if it'll come out. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> this is one of the best things to shave with. Because when you run it, it like doesn't fall apart very easily unless you leave. I don't leave this in the shower um, because the humidity of everything kind of breaks it down faster. But I mean, I've left them in the shower for years and like and nothing happened. But I noticed that they last longer and don't fall apart as much if you keep these like in the cupboard rather than oh, I messed it up. rather than in the actual shower. Other people will probably tell me I'm wrong, but it's what I want. But yeah, everything's melting because it's hot in my car. Um, let's see, what is this? I got a piece of their soap. I don't remember what this is called because the guy didn't wrap it for some reason with the name on it. Oh, it says Lush on the side. That's cool. Very citrusy. More cool citrus, not... Oh, God. I don't know what this one is called. I thought he would have wrapped it. Here's my receipt. Oh, 
all my kitties this way. It's called Outback Mate. Yeah. It's called Outback Mate Soap. It is super beautiful. And I always cut, like, uh, a really small portion of the soap off and then store this. Um, I'll probably cut it, like, maybe like this. Maybe I'll cut it into thirds this time. It needs to fit in the tin. And when I went to my storage space, uh, I found all my Lush tins and some of my Lush stuff that I hadn't had in his dad's house. That's soap. Let's see. What else is there? I got a shampoo bar because I love their shampoo bars. And this one is Fly Away Hair. And there's like sea salt and stuff in there. And package list again. And they do sell tins, but I have a lot of their tins already. Um, I don't know what you could, this smells like bath time stuff, but it also has like a really nice, more spicy note to it, but I will put this in the tin. I got to go to my car to get this stuff out of it. It's just, I hate stairs, but you use this in your hair and then you use your, whatever conditioner you get from there. The reason why I got this one this time instead of this, the other one, the one I usually get jumping juniper is because this one has volume and my mohawk needs, like sometimes I'll put my hair clip in and kind of pull my hair forward and then clip it again and it'll stay kind of like this. But sometimes depending on what I use to wash my hair, it will be more volumized. So I got this for that. Anything else that's regular instead of I got like a million bath bombs so I'm trying to get to the things that through the things that are not bath bombs okay this was my facial soap okay so this uh, this is called Movis facial soap oh god it smells like cocoa and it just smells delicious there's like oats and stuff in here and my skin is uh, sometimes when I use some of their soaps, it dries out my skin. And he told me that this would not do that because it's got like oatmeal in it and all this other stuff in it. But I, this will last me a really long time. And this one I will not cut because I don't want to mess up the thing. I'll just use this side of it rather than this side of it for a little while. Because that's a really neat textured print. It kind of makes me think of my arm. But okay, that's that soap for my face. And that one I will use in the mornings because... Uh, I wash my face when I get up every morning because I shower it or I bathe at night. I take a bath at night um, and then I get up and get ready and go to work uh, and I will always wash my face. I usually never wash my face. I usually just get up and go. But lately I've been, uh, lately I've been washing my face now that I have running water um, and it's been really nice. It's very refreshing to wash your face. Okay, so let's do the bubble bars next. I think that's all that's left besides the bath bombs. I feel like I'm missing one. So, this is the unicorn horn bubble bar. God, this thing smells... Like, if you close your eyes, you can just, like, hear Tangerine Dream's song from, like, Legend playing in your head. And, like, petal, white petals falling. Oh, this thing is delicious. So... I have this container that I got. Uh, this is the unicorn horn. I have this container that I bought um, from an Etsy shop and she 3D prints um, bubble cups that you hang on the spigot of your shower, of your bathtub. And you know where you pull the thing up and it makes it go either shower or bath. Um, it's hangs on that and stops there and then where the water pours out there's a bunch of little holes there and so you put the piece of the bubble bar in there and whatever other bath stuff you want and then it will make your water like crazy bubbly and stuff like that so I got that one and oh, this, one. this one is mermaid tail bubble bar Citrusy as hell all over the place and you can use this one like all of these you don't just stick the whole thing in or hold it under the water or whatever you break pieces off which sucks because it's just too cute to play with but look at the glittery stuff in the tail and all of their glitter is non-plastic disintegratable like glitter oh my god this is nice 
really love this thing. Okay. And I think I got one more. I got three bubble bars. Where the hell is the third one? Oh, here it is. Oh, God. I did not know this one existed. And it's very funny that this is actually being sold right now because they have seasonal things that they don't sell. But it's not a snowflake to you. This one... Frozen. It's the frozen one, obviously. It smells so good. It smells like it smells like spearmint. Uh, it smells like spearmint certs. The little candies. It smells exactly like the spearmint certs, which is really good because I'm not a peppermint person. I really love spearmint stuff. This is gonna be nice. I'm just gonna chip off a little leg each time and. Put it in my bar. And my, little, and my the 3D printed one that I got, it's actually in my car right now, it's shaped like a cauldron. So it looks like it's brewing bubbles and stuff when the water goes out. Okay, so that should be the only one of the last of that. Okay, so for the bath bombs, this is called Butterball. And it's one of the small ones compared to the others. This is what size they usually are. But this is a small one. I guess this one's potent or something. Um, and it smells like baby powder and like creamy. I haven't used this one before, but there are times where I feel like this scent would make me relax more. But yeah, so butterball. And it's kind of, it's got stuff, you can see kind of stuff in it. I don't know what is exactly in that one because I haven't gotten it yet, but we will see. And then this one is called Dragon's Egg. And you can see that there's like color in there. There's little things. I think that this one is the one with the three. Yeah, because you can see that there's little discs. There's little discs of different color. Like you can see the corner, like that's the rim of one of the discs. There's like pink and yellow and or, or pink, yellow, orange, and blue discs or something, I think, in it. And when the bubble bar, I mean, the bath bomb fizzles out, those little things are left and then they melt separately. And I think I've had that one before. Very citrusy. Okay, and this is one that I've had a billion times and I just love it because I think this one's called Big Blue. Yeah, this is the Big Blue one. So this one has seaweed in it. And so it's kind of like it makes it into a bath tea, technically. Um, the This one's not really a showing kind of one. Like it doesn't do a whole lot of crazy stuff, but it is still beautiful because then there's the white and the blue foam and everything. But the seaweed gets in the water and, you know, these are for baths that are like you're sitting in there for a minute. And for me, I could watch a few episodes of uh, a show or like watch a couple movies or something like that. When I'm having these kind of baths, I take a long time. And most of the Lush bath bombs have glitter in them. I don't think this one does, though. Um, but the seaweed will sink to the bottom and float a little bit. And then it will plump up like kind of tea, like tea leaves. And it is very good for before bed. I love that one. Oh, there's a little stamp on the bottom. Hehe. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Okay, these two are new ones to me. This one is self-explanatory, but I'm sure it's got a name. Oh yeah, I brought my scale. I can weigh myself again. Okay. Where are you? This one's called Out of This World. I finally found it. Look at him. He's so pretty. He's so cute. Little man. This one smells. Oh. Oh, God. This one brings back childhood memories. This is like those chalky candies that you like shaved with your teeth. Uh, <laughs> what are those things called? The original sweet tarts, the disc, the big disc ones that you can smash and crash up or you can chew them. It smells exactly like that. Oh my god, this one's gonna be dope. It's 
going to be very hard to figure out which ones to use first. And I will have bubbles in my bath. But it's, you know, it kind of makes it difficult because when you do bubbles in the bath, it makes it hard to see the bath bomb. So sometimes you just do one. Sometimes you do both. Whatever. And this one... really doesn't seem to be on here. I don't know what this one's called. But it's a pretty color. It's enormous. Like, it's like my whole, it's my whole hand. <laughs> like, it's enormous. And they get everywhere. So, you just sprinkle it everywhere you go. And this one is lavender, which it's not, oh, it matches my hair. Hmm, that's funny. So yeah, those are the Lush things that I got. And <coughs> I feel like I got something else, but I don't know where it is. And it's not on this, it's not in my receipt. But I feel like I got the eye things, shampoo shower gel at the end of this video will be photos of photos of um there's a whole mario like usually they don't it just seems weird blush usually doesn't do trendy things that i know of and the mario movie just came out and there's like five or six mario things and when they tell you what it's supposed to smell like they're, you smell it and you're like, oh, it smells like this. And they're like, wait, take it back. And they say, okay, take it away from your face and take a deep breath and breathe. Close your eyes for a second. And then they tell you what it's supposed to smell like. And you're like, what the hell? One of the things that I smelled that I thought was really cool. Um, it, I thought it smelled like burning rubber and some, some candy or something like that. And it was supposed to smell like Coca-Cola, which I hate the taste of and the smell of. So uh, either way, <laughs> but then there was like a coin soap and three body washes and a shower jelly that was like a Bowser shower jelly. And that one was supposed to smell like cinnamon something. But then the guy's like, take it away from your face and breathe. And then hear what I'm, they hear what I, what it's supposed to, what it smells like to me. And he's like fireball. And I was like, Oh God, it really does. It really smells like fireball alcohol. Which is really funny. Just the spices of it, not the alcohol portion of it. So, yeah. But that was what I did. And look how big the bag is of all this stuff. <laughs> I felt like a baller walking through there. Um, and I also got jewelry from Spencer's. And some expensive lunch that I didn't realize was going to be so much. But, damn. Um, I got these earrings. And I'm going to cannibalize them. Uh, so that I can uh, put them with my tunnels and then just put this underneath them. And uh, I have ones that have little hooks and little clamps on them. So I'll just put a, I'll just take the earring part off of that and clip it onto the other thing. And then I'll be able to wear them like my gauges. Yeah, people, that's right. We got Chuckies. And I bought these for his daughter. They are doll parts floating around in a snow globe <laughs> and I'm wrapping them up because they're clanging together and they're made of glass and then is that the only ones? oh yeah those three and then I got these and then I got these which actually have gauges to them because my lower hole is a zero and the top is a two it used to be double zero and then zero but I couldn't find all the earrings I wanted in that right size so I went down a size again but yeah, there's the tunnel and it's little pop little suckers with razor blades. I just thought it looked kind of creepy, you know. But that's what I bought today and I went to my storage unit and took a bunch of shit out of my car and took stuff out of my storage unit and brought back my guitar to here so that I can assess it because I wrapped it in a towel in the van to keep it safe. But because the van leaks 
inside and I thought, hey, this is going to keep it dry around it so that any moisture gets keep kept away from the guitar. But apparently the leak was so bad, it leaked onto with something beside it and then soaked into the towel, which it would have soaked into the guitar anyway. So the back of the guitar is moldy and when he threw all my stuff in there, he broke the strings. Um, hopefully that's all that's broken. And the, the stain that I put on the guitar is... I had to check the door because people were walking by and I didn't know if my package was out there. I had to get a lint roller because now that Lita can lay on me all day, she does. Everybody walks by the door, you can see them. Or by the kitchen. The kitchen window faces the walkway on the inner court of the building. And so it's a small pathway everybody has to take to walk by. So, but yeah, now that Lita can get on me, I have cat hair all over my clothes, which is like a new thing. Well, new recently. So, yeah. What the hell? What the hell is this? Anyway, so, yeah, that's what I got some stuff out of my storage unit and stuff, and my god. It's just so weird looking at stuff, and I found like a bag of pictures, but I got all of those gone. I hope everybody's having a good day, and if it's hot where you're at, you get to play in the water a little bit. And if you can't play in the water a little bit, and you've got a house or a, an apartment, put water in the bathtub, get yourself a candle and some bubbly stuff and put cold water in the bathtub that you can stand like you know like lukewarm water in the bathtub and use it as a pool and bring your tablet or your computer or your uh, phone in there and watch something and sit in there for a little while and hide from the heat that's what I'm gonna do because the faucet is stuck on hot here I have to run a hot bath and then let it sit for a while till it gets cold. But I have to stuff a wash rag in the hole because that little flippy up and down thing that stops the water from going out. Yesterday I forgot my bath so long that I think I started, I ran the bath at 5 and I went in at 8 and there was this much water left. But it was full, like full, full when I first started. And it did end up getting cold and draining mostly out. So I have to stuff a wash rag in there today when I run my water here in a second. So yeah. And I had my first watermelon lemonade. And there was bits of watermelon at the bottom. It was super good. Hope everybody's having a good day.